week begins with more yummy jelly. I want to die. But don't worry, everyone. I made it to the office. You excited? Yeah. Our MCM merch appears to have arrived. It is here. Oh, goody. So we've just been asked by uh, Now TV if we want to do a little sponsored tweet uh, to promote Game of Thrones being on their service. And basically what it is is, they, is that you make a little video where your avatar, uh, your Twitter avatar, dies in some Game of Thronesy way. And one of the ones is you get pushed through the moon door. Uh, and I want to do this tweet, but I've, I've got some conditions and I'm hope, hope, hoping they agree to them. And one is that I've changed my Twitter profile picture uh, back to this. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, I've taken the audio from these videos and I've added in the whole sound and I'm really hoping that they agree to it because then it's funny because I genuinely love Game of Thrones uh, we've already worked with Now TV and it's just like a good, good brandy collab so I hope they say yes, I really do I'm gonna be sad if they don't Just on my way to grab some lunch with Charlie got a present for her here and also to pick up more dietary stuff so I can start my diet again because I've probably packed on like 10 pounds in America. Oh gosh. Oh no. Babe, 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 babe. babe. <laughs> this is where I can't undo it. And I've loosened it for this. you. I mean, but fair enough. I thought there was nothing in there for a minute. I was like, what? Get that? wrecked. There's no way I hit my... If you just shake it, it'll come out, like... Uh, no? I want that stock footage. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> oh, dear. I'm so... What is that? Oh, my... What? Oh, my God! Are you crazy? This is awesome! Can I show the camera? Yeah, 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 do, do, do. Hey! Hey, Lamau, Auntie Donna. All right, I now have my diet stuff and I can get back to dieting, although they didn't have strawberry milkshake, which is my favorite, so I'm so sad now. I'm back in the office, but that doesn't matter because Tara gave me my watch back and I have a watch again and I'm happy now. I feel complete and I can finally wear jewelry. So we've just got our wristbands that we're going to be selling at MCM this year and they've kind of stretched the design quite a lot, especially, look at the I Like Trains kid. He looks, he needs help. This is what they were supposed to look like, compared to, that's, and they're just saying, nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, there's no problem, it's, for, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go to some kind of party thing. I sure love traveling in London at rush hour. Can't wait for the central line. I bet it's gonna be empty. Tara's having a bad day, so we brought her here to watch a, a video about child refugees. That, you happy now? Ecstatic. Yeah? Good. That's what I wanted. Hey, Thank you so much. Welcome. Fist pump. Children saved. <laughs> Just went to Google to see the new Save the Children. A video about the refugee crisis. It was very intense. Not exactly a barrel of laughs. It was a hilarious sketch. It was very punchline. Felt a bit flat, but no, it was it was really um, it was really cool, and I think it's really great what they're doing. Um, the first video in, in this in the like it's like the one second a day. The first one has like 53 million views, and I think it's a really cool and really interesting uh, take on the Syrian refugee crisis. So check it out if you haven't already. I also met. The little girl from the video called Lily, and she is articulate. <laughs> so sassy. Sassy is also a word. <laughs> My day begins with Elliot coming over because we're going to watch Game of Thrones before work because we're cool. We're cool guys. Look, there he is. There he. There's one. Where is he? The. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. The traffic is just too bad, so we're gonna fly to work because life of luxury. We. I am driving in my car. Appropriate music. It's not. Why? Idiot. Here we go. Are we going? 
can't tell. We are going on an exciting adventure. Oh. No. We're here. We're only two hours late. It's okay. Don't worry. Give it. Put it in. Put it in the sofa. Yay! New pillow. Could the second shot of the cup be like a close up? Will you bam? Like, 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 like. We're in Watertown. Like More shots of the cup. <laughs> Ma! Ma! Jizz, 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 jizz. A man just knocked on our door and gave me this bag, and I don't know what's in this bag, so we're gonna open this bag and find out what's in this bag. This bag. This bag. This bag. This bag, right here. Okay, so what is. It's a clue. <laughs> Hope you like our brand new Nathan Drake emoji in celebration of Uncharted 4 out today. Head to Twitter. There's an that was fast. That was fast. Holy cow, what is... I'm guessing you got the collector. Is it sexy? <laughs> what? Nathan, it's a Nathan cake. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is nuts. Uncharted 4. Just the disc. Just the disc. <laughs> it's all you need, Eddie. And this. Oh. Well, this is fun. It's a little old school journal. Oh, this is nice. Embargo. Hashtag <laughs> uh... <laughs> hearted far. So because we managed to get the location for Fireman for free, I decided that we should invest all of that location money into props. And one of the props I decided that we needed would be a fire extinguisher. And being that we don't have a fire extinguisher in this office currently, I thought, hey, this is a good excuse to get a fire extinguisher. So I told Eddie to get us a fire extinguisher. And what does Eddie get us? He gets us a fire extinguisher themed water bottle. We're gonna fucking die. But we won't be thirsty. I know I <laughs> We are just waiting for last week six to export it is i don't know like 8 p.m uh, but i really want to get it out today and like me elliot doesn't really enjoy going home so here we are in the office whoop 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 go faster why why it's, it's 10 p.m and we're the, the sound isn't playing on last week. We don't know why. Should I go home? I give up. I quit. I'm not having it. It's time for another adventure time sleepover, and I'm trying to get b back to eating the food on my diet, and it's really hard because I'm so hungry, and it's basically reset my entire metabolism, and I'm so hungry. Cheeky pancake. Cheeky little pancake. Nummy mm, protein. Mm, yum, yum. I need to not cheat on this diet. I need to do. I need to get back on it. I was doing so. Will you stop? It just looks so good. It does look pretty good. Oh, he's getting so fat. Oh, damn. She thick. Damn. She thick. <laughs> I think these eggs were off. So as I mentioned a few times already in these vlogs, uh, usually when I finish a script, I'll send it off to a few friends for notes or opinions to make sure it's funny. But recently, uh, when we just finished the edit of Fireman and sent it off to the uh, the post edit team, post production team, that's the one. Uh, we actually got a round of notes back, and it was just very un unexpected, and it and it's prompted so this like weird little tiff that I'm calling Edit Gate um, between. Just because I I was just a bit like oh okay I, I'm I was just a little bit thrown by it but I think uh, it's just kind of become this passive aggressive situation that spiraled out of control and it was just my stance was just like oh okay well I disagree with these notes and I wasn't expecting any notes we're just all confused and now everyone's confused and no one knows if who's angry with who and it's now now, now extra effort has to be put in. To be like, it's fine. Everyone stop. Everyone stop yelling. Hashtag edit gate is over. By the time this comes out, it better be. 
Unless, of course, my confidence has been so shredded that I don't actually release the sketch at all. I can't figure out how to make the export for last week work, and I've given Elliot the day off, so because it keeps cutting the audio off, I don't have time to figure out how this program works. I am just manually recording the audio from the video, and then I'm going to edit it back. I'm going to bodge this so good. I'm a professional. I don't know how PC editing on the premieres work. I just use a Mac. I'm a child. So I've always said how I don't think I have much of a fandom in the traditional sense. But what's always interesting is that whenever um, Dan is not on fire or Amazing Phil appear in one of my vlogs, that is that is when a GIF will get made. That is pretty much the only time that something will get gift. And sure enough, within seconds of my latest last week going up, you get GIFs. GIFs of Dan, GIFs of Phil. But my favorite thing that the fandom d does, and they do this with uh, photos as well, is they will find the most creative ways to just remove me because I'm I'm a blemish, you know, I'm ge I'm getting in the way. And it, it's just great. Just been looking at some of my older sketches, and what I've kind of noticed is this correlation between my uh, best slash most popular work and a runtime of about 90 seconds. So I'm kind of interested in trying to write a couple more videos that are about 90 seconds long, you know. Uh, without these kind of longer narratives. Just go back to simple, like, here is a thing, here is a silly situation, we're doing this, and now we're out. Uh, so uh, just come up with a, with a sketch idea that we've been fleshing out a bit. And yeah, hopefully we'll get something good out of this. But I've just managed to get into a bit of a bad mood, and I don't want to write anymore today. So yay for that. Sorry I, wait, sorry I ruined the day, Eddie. That's all right. You at least have Hitman. I have not been playing video games. You've been totally playing video games. You don't know me. So I mentioned in last last week how I asked the CEO of YouTube directly if YouTube was ever planning on taking any um, action or at least interest in things like abuse and abuse allegations with the ultimate goal being that they encourage people to take the issue off the platform and ideally to uh, the police at least that was that was what I what I was hoping to do. Um, or at least work with the police, you know, to implement some sort of policy so that, you know, maybe ideally people that go down stay down. Um, and yes, I felt silly doing it at the time, but actually what I forgot to mention was that a couple days um, later, I had YouTube employees telling me that, um, that Susan actually did end up bumping uh, the issue up to kind of the, to the top of the, uh, the list and actually had some meetings uh, to do with it. So that was quite amazing that something actually happened. So yeah, kind of a, a bit of a, I guess a bit of a happy ending to that, that story. Um, not really an ending and more of a continuation, but that was good. And yes, it's nice to feel like I've actually maybe finally done something positive for a change. <laughs>in the same clothes you wore yesterday? No, because today I'm wearing Crocs. So fuck you. Okay. Look, what, what a quirky and spontaneous occasion. <laughs> it's time to shoot a vlog about losing weight, which will already have come out by the time you see this. So you should click here to watch the vlog about losing weight if you haven't already, bitch. It's my little song. Thank you. So some of you may remember that a few months ago I sold something called the Tom Scar box, which was a box full of Tom Scar-y Astafi goodies, and they sold really well. They didn't. They didn't sell very well at all. But I'm bringing them to MCM this year, and, you know, if you're coming, then you could get a ridiculous me bobblehead, or a mind title plushie, or a wristband, or a... or a... A stick sheet and a mini poster. Please, please buy these. Please. No one bought them. Please. So I recently got a comment on a video that said that I was a beta male. Uh, which, in case you don't know, is, is you know, someone who isn't an alpha male. And, yeah, no, it's pretty true. It's pretty fair. I just had a man, not even a man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he was probably about 17, 18 years old just come over and put up all of my fixtures in my house that I haven't put up yet because I 
I'm just not a man. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not an alpha male. I don't know how tools work, but now I have lots of things up in my house, and and I'm ready. I'm ready to have people over on Saturday. I I got a hallway mirror and some hallway shelves, toilet mirror, and also a towel rail. I was apparently going through quite a porthole thing when I ordered these. Artwork is now finally on the wall. Other artwork, which is also now finally on the wall. Bathroom cabinet. Toilet roll holder. Spare toilet roll holder. Shelf. Toothbrush thing. Really fucking weird mirror that I didn't realize was a fisheye lens. Picture. Elliot. Get out. (laughs) When will your husband return from the war? John. Look natural. Hey, cool guy. That's racist. I am trying to get back on my diet and a fucking ice cream truck just parked outside my house. Who who authorized this? Elia! It wasn't me. I want an ice cream. I'm, I'm just unboxing this this ne- this thing that was left in my room it's at... It's a nest. At the Creator Summit. It's a nest. I don't know what it is, but it's got my face on it. Why has it got my face on it? Yeah, wait, do it again though. Come back. Okay. <laughs> so, I have phone security now. Not f- like, I have a camera in my house. Thanks for the Nest camera, Google. This is weird. I like it. <laughs> Hey, ah, the crystal gems will always save the day. And if you think we can't, we'll always find a way. We haven't. Sir, have you ever met this person before? I've never met my brother Mark and Anna before in my life. <laughs> so we're just rushing about finishing up the edit for Fireman. I just realised that I forgot to ask anyone to do the opening lines for the sketch, so... I guess I'm just gonna have to put on a silly voice and do him. Whoops. Bernie Blaze was an average firefighter until a freak accident gave him superhuman ability. So I'm hopefully filming Tom Scar's Day Out 10 on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And I've, I've for some reason waited until now to try and find the batteries and everything for my camera. And I can't, so looks like we're going full, full Casey on this one. We're, we're, we're no time for a, no, I have gotta go full DSLR. So it's gonna be a fun one. Oh, I really am nervous about it. I'm always really nervous before I film a Tom Scar's Day Out, just in case it goes wrong, because they have. About half of the ones I've filmed have never come out, because something goes wrong. Well, the sketch is ready to go live, and I'm only now running two hours late to see Charlie. I'm good at, I'm good at things, I'm good at life. Just generally, I'm good. So I'm in the toilet, on the train, and... This is a good sign. Please don't flush nappy sash towels, paper towels, gum, old phones, unpaid bills, junk, yurks, sweat hopes, dreams, goldfish. So I've made it to Charlie's, but despite having the sketch fully ready, I've got into a massive panic that it's not good enough, and I am panically asking everyone uh, to send me over some changes in the edits because I'm freaking out, and I just, I'm really afraid the sketch isn't funny, and I just. Ah. Okay, so with some last minute changes to Fireman, I'm pretty happy with it now. I think it's pretty safe to come out um but i've noticed a bit of a a bit of a continuity error which no one's gonna notice or care about but it is kind of funny and it's just that a one in one shot my phone is just on the desk you can just see my phone and it's not even the first time this has happened in the sketch at all now i don't want to be cynical but given that i've worked with this actress i think that's a real quote just throwing it out there Time to start filming, hopefully, Tom Scar's Day Out 10. And I'm very nervous, as I always am, that it's just gonna go wrong. <sighs> I hope it goes right. Charlie has brought her friend Della. <laughs> Della is here. Ow. Why would you hit me? Ah, so right now I'm doing a photo shoot for 1080 Magazine. It's a magazine about YouTube and all things YouTube-y. And if you haven't read it, you, sh- you should read it. Cause yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tio. <laughs> I might be in it. Who knows? I can't make any promises. I used to go in Mortal. Becca's taking the photos. <laughs> you right? Okay, the photo shoot is done, and now I'm heading to meet up with some friends. In case you haven't realized, I'm not really filming too much of today, because obviously, 
Yeah. So, yeah. You'll see it when it comes out on May 30th. Um, progress update on Tom Scar's day out. We just tried to go to the British Museum and Eddie pointed out right as we were about to hit bag check that my bag is definitely full of guns. <laughs> And I can't go in there. Whoa, look. Uh, it's... Uh, whoa. 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 Ah, so yesterday turned out to be pretty darn awesome. Just me and a handful of my closest people in my life. And it all worked out. And you'll see it on May 30th for the 10th anniversary of my YouTube channel. But now, we're going to the zoo. We're going to the zoo. We're going to the zoo. We're going to see an animal. I'ma swear at a dog. You're gonna swear at a dog. Wait, they don't have dogs in zoos, do they? I'm gonna swear at a nature dog. I'm gonna swear at anything. I'm gonna find an animal, I'm gonna swear at it. I'm gonna swear at all the animals, so I don't give a shit. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. Thank you. So, I'm pretty upset right now. If we hadn't already got tickets for the zoo, We'd be going to the dog show that is happening very nearby. But we can't go, can we, Charlie? Why? Because you bought tickets to the zoo. Yeah. So whose fault is it, again, that we're not going to a dog show full of dogs? Yeah. What's happening here? The contempt he feels for us. Come back here, you. Don't you, want, don't you walk away from me? Frog rave. Oh look, you got a little snake, he's over there, and then if he wants to kill himself, he's got his own noose. Look at that bird. Evolution. If evolution exists, why are monkeys still exist? Because they're cool. If humans came from monkeys, why are they still monkeys? Because they're cool. I just disproved evolution. Team, team, team God. One day they're just all gonna kill us, and the truth is, we deserve it. You know, I think if if a giant gorilla showed up at my door and just said, I'm gonna kill you now, I'd be like, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Monkey friend, hey, monkey friend, buddy, monkey friend, fuck you. Hey, buddy, hey, friend, hey, fuck you, mate, 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 friend, be my friend, I'll teach you how to drive, I'll teach you how to drive. I wonder if I've got any I'll teach, ah, oh, fine then. Goat friend. Goat, goat friend, you can't have the Forbidden Planet things. Goat, small goat friend. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit of child labor. Hey, little, little goat friend. Little goat friend, guess what? Guess... Hey, goat friend, make cats. Make cat. hey, make cats. Make cat friend. Make cat friend. Hey, get the fuck you. Get the fuck you. Get the fuck you. Help him. My favorite human. Help him. <laughs> Free him. <laughs> 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 Hey, little friend. I'll oh, come back at your shit. Flamingo, fuck yourselves. Penguins, my friends. Oh, okay, come on. Get the selfie. Sorry. Get the selfie, yes, get it. Yeah, get the selfie. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking penguin selfie. Oh, shit, you fucking love you fucking idiot. Oh, my God, I found actual dogs. Guess what? Fuck you. Nyom. 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 Let's go in that. You want the chairs? How was the zoo? Yep. Out of ten? Seven. Seven. No, I'm gonna give it a six. Fuck. I tried to resist, but he parked right outside my house. He parked right outside my house, you don't understand. <laughs> Mark Hamill. We shook his hand. It's fucking Luke Skywalker and shit.